But I've got a bigger question. If you could drink water from your toilet, would you do it? TJ. Well, this whole issue about the recycling of uh, toilet water, uh, again, this is, this is like so many other issues. I don't know what the big deal is, because when you think about it, in the political world, with the recycling of rhetoric, it's, it's so similar to the solid form of bovine waste, we should be used to it, and we've accepted it over the years. So this is kind of the ultimate recycling, and I guess from a conservative point of view, it's an economic, uh, potential economic stimulus. Think of the microbreweries that this will spawn. They'll be everywhere if we can only move this program forward. I can't even think of the name of the beers that you'd want to drink after that. <laughs> Stephanie, are you ready to drink toilet to tap water? I think as long as I didn't know I was drinking it, I'd be okay with it. But the idea of it is pretty disgusting. But if that's what we have to do, then we'll have to do it. As long as it's actually safe, then I'm willing to drink it. But You're you know, willing to drink it? If it's actually actually safe I would be willing to drink it but I'll, you know I'm still just skeptical about tap water in general I like to get it from you know the grocery store through the filters just because I'm a little afraid to okay so the guy upstairs at the third floor he's done and then you're down the first floor and you're telling me after a couple filters you're <laughs> ready to take the spigot and turn on your water and as long as it's well, been filtered ready to go ahead and have a nice little shot there I, I, not exactly in that way that's the way it's gonna but, happen no that sounds pretty bad but it's still probably better than Mexico drinking water Oh, did you say Mexico <laughs> drinking water? Jim, did she say Mexico well, drinking water? I went I'm there. Gonna I she went there. there. <laughs> I, you this. know, look, the fact is the, the country may be, and certainly California is running out of water. I would like to just point out one thing. If this is evidence of good government, it's not like we can't forecast droughts and we can't forecast population increase, but the government that we've had in California has done a rather pathetic job over the years of trying to address the, the water shortages in a more uh, traditional way. So do I think technology is okay? Yes, but would I give a gold medal to the, uh, the leadership in this, in this state for what it's done relative to our water shortages? Absolutely not. Well, I, I may not disagree with him on that. However, the California has been in a prolonged drought, which has extended probably over 20 years. And so you can't predict these droughts. You have to deal with them. Well, let me tell you this. They, they told us that we have a choice. We could either have the water from the ocean and we'll desalinate it, you know, get the salt out, or we can drink toilet water. I'm choosing ocean water. Well, that's vastly more expensive as I understand it. I I'll would, spend choose, the extra I would money. choose it as well, but it's vastly more expensive. It takes a lot of energy. Whatever's cheaper, cleaner, and safer, I'm for it. But I think uh, something that we can learn from the story today is that the water crisis in America is real. Uh, in Arizona, for instance, that's where I grew up and that's where I reported. I was constantly co covering water war stories as well as um, there's a city in Arizona called uh, Williams. And they're basically out of water and they, if you only get a certain amount of water and if you go over it, they'll fine you. Okay, well, you know, we're going to leave it there. I'm not drinking the toilet water. I want to thank Stephanie Hamilgate. Thank you very much. TJ O'Hara, nice to have you on the show. Jan Ronis, awesome job.